Hi. Hey, it's me. Miss Everly. All right, we're going to do some math. And the lesson of the day is, I'm not telling you. So you try and figure it out after we go through all this stuff. So first thing, with a piece of paper and a pencil, I want you to do something. So I want to know 6 times 4. Got it? Okay, good. Now I want to know 6 times 2. Do you got that? Okay, good. You guys are good. Okay, now what do you notice is the same or different amongst these two problems that I gave you? If you need to, pause the video and talk about it. Because I'm going to start talking about it. What is the same? Well, if you have the products correct of 24 and 12, the only same thing about it is one of their factors. Six. That's the same. This other factor is different, and of course, which means their product is different. But in what ways? The four and the two. Hmm. Can you compare those? Hmm. You got it? Well, two is half of four, right? And you're like, oh, uh, yeah, dumb is separately. We knew that. Okay. Well, what's really cool is if I put in that 4 divided by 2 is 2, then guess what? Does it work with the products? If we divide by 2, is 24 divided by 2 give me 12? <gasps> it does! No way! Wow! Okay. So let's try another one. So now if I keep going with this, and now I say 6, let's try this, 6 times, let's keep going with the division by 2 pattern. What number is my factor going to be? So 2 divided by 2 is 1. And what is 6 times 1? Identity, property, and multiplication happening here. Six times one is six. Oh, did our pattern end up working? Here we have division by two. Do we divide by two and it works? <gasps> 12 divided by two is six. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay. All right. All right. Let's add on to this. Okay, let's do another one. Six times. Let's keep going with this pattern. I need to take that one and divide it into two parts. What does that mean? That's going to be ooh, one divided into two parts. Huh. One divided into two parts? What would you get? Do you guys have it? You'd get a half. Right? One half. One divided up into two. Each part is a half. Okay. So let's use our same patterning skills because you probably haven't ever taken a whole number times a fraction. So you couldn't necessarily go this way in the problem. So let's go ahead and use our pattern that's been working for us and see what we get. So 6 divided by 2, well, that's easy enough. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Ha, ha, ha. Do you believe me that 6 times 1 half is 3? Does that seem reasonable? Well, let's think of this another way. So I'm going to take this problem, 6 times 4, and tell you that I could say that another way. This means, uh, this could be said this way, six, and then instead of saying times, I could say of the fours. So I want six of the fours in this problem here. So if I write out six of the fours, and add them together, 
Guess what you get? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, right? Okay, you following me? Okay, let's go to the next problemo then and see if it works again. Okay, so let's go to 6 times 2 equals 12. So that would be said this way also. 6 of the 2s. So I want 6 of the 2s. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. <gasps> and what do you get? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. You're like, yeah, I know. Well, the reason we're doing this is so that we can prove our final problem of 6 times a half. So let's look at another one before we get there, 6 times 1. Another way of saying that, do you have it? 6 of the what? 1s. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Multiplication, repeated addition. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, it works. Okay, we proved all those. Now we finally got to the juice of the problem. Let's see. 6 times a half. We'd write that as 6 of the halves. So we want half plus a half plus a half plus a half plus a half plus, what do you know, a half. Okay. Now you guys have been working on those types of problems. And this one's actually super nice because the denominators are all the same. Which means... I'm going to keep the denominator as a 2 and just add the numerators. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 of those halves is the same thing as 6 over 2, which is improper. You following me? Which, if we convert into a mixed number, would be what? What do we get when we convert that to a mixed number? Well, let's see. That's 6 divided by 2. <laughs> 2 goes into 6 three times perfectly. And look at That's what we got. 3. It's all coming together. So now I would like you to try out handout A. Good luck.